Also tonight, New York State wants to inject new life into some old military structures at the Niagara Falls Air Base, and the project could help protect the future of Niagara County's largest employer. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley has that story tonight. After years of sitting unused, this old Army Reserve Center on Porter Road in Niagara Falls is scheduled to see new life. This morning, officials announcing that the state legislature has approved a half million dollars to start the process of turning these old empty buildings into a new emergency response center. There is not another facility like this within 90 miles. Plans call for helicopters from both the Niagara County Sheriff's and Mercy Flight to be based here. Mercy Flight would be looking to have an air ambulance base, an emergency medicine training facility, located there, uh, a ramp or hangar space for up to five helicopters. There would be three to four flight crews based there 24-7. Future plans call for development of additional training facilities that could be used by the Border Patrol and other agencies. This helps make this base BRAC proof. Not only does the money start the process of retrofitting the hangar and surrounding buildings, it is also seen as a way of guaranteeing the future of the entire Niagara Falls Air Reserve Station, which is Niagara County's largest employer with more than 3,000 full and part-time personnel. We have now continued to win uh, one new mission after another. These are substantial. Construction of the new emergency response center could begin either this fall or early next year, but it could take several years for all phases of this project to be completed. In Niagara Falls, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.